On this episode of The Hunter, we will be raiding a weapon vault, and we're raiding some cars, and uh, maybe get, even getting a little revved up today, and I hope you guys enjoy the episode, and I hope you watch till the end. Enjoy. Outside of you. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to the Hunter. Gonna get hidden now here. Got some stuff to do today. Got some the buildings to raid and some POIs uh, to my mistake. Uh, got some resources to collect. With all that being said, I'm gonna meet you at the first uh, building to raid in just a second, and I think it's going to be the bunker. The well bunker. If I might I'm not mistaken, it's right here. I guess here we are. And we got some company here in the morning. Uh, let's see. Good morning, Marlon. I didn't make myself a hunting knife overnight, so I should be dealing some more damage. Come here, Marlon. There you go, sweetie. 20 points to spend. Let's see what I can spend it on this morning. Um, can't spend it on either semi or 69er. Spend it on Quality Joe and Fast Eddie. I was just gonna. <laughs> We're gonna get a, a nice little bit of loot early in the morning. Head, head explosion on old Bob here. And eh, nothing on you, anyways. Okay. Make sure I watch my stuff down here. A little dark down here. I'm gonna just uh, break into the vault uh, down here and I will be with you guys uh, shortly. So I just uh, went back home and grabbed some torches real quick, uh, that way you guys can see. Oh, uh, especially if you're viewing on a phone, dark, uh, this is not very good, but see what we got in the bookshelves. Ooh, MacGyver scrap. Uh, armor schematic. Um, leather chest armor schematic, That's that could be pretty good, uh, just for leather working. Paper, paper, those are the bookshelves. Anything in the old lockers here? Nice puffer coat. A leather kind of duster. Not too much. On the overnight, I did craft a pay. The couple of parts of the mini bikes, so a little bit later, be uh, raiding some cars for engines and and a battery, and we can have kind of basic transport, which will be nice. Don't have to goof around and use uh, stamina up, but. It was so nice. Uh, I do apologize for if you watched uh, the previous episode of the series. Uh, I forgot to read the cracker book, uh, but we did find some new armor schematics, like I think part of the iron armor set, and also the mini bike book and like gas schematic, and I think. Got like a couple, like an extra point in science from a med kit schematic. See, so yeah, it's just, uh, I apologize for doing that. That's like something, but I'm human, I can only remember so much sometimes. So I'm just gonna break into the vault here and I will be with you guys in a moment shortly. Yeah, one more whack and we're in here. Let's see what we've got in the old guns, the safes, and the vault down here. Start with the munitions box. It's nine mil. Could sell that. Gun store box. What you got? Handgun receiver. 
Got nothing in there. Storage chest. There goes your box. Nothing in there. 44 magnum cylinder and shotgun parts and a hunting rifle part. Not too bad. What is this? Hunting rifle, pistol grips, hunting rifle parts, pistol from barrel. A bit of handgun and hunting rifle parts. Pistol barrel and a shotgun long barrel. Eh, not too eh, not too bad, not too bad. Um, bring it through here real quick into the into the bathroom, see what we got. I uh, got the got a bunch of electrical parts. Cardboard box, anything. Some good old fashioned gunpowder and and junk. Let's scrap that cooking pot down. Doors unlocked. Some lockers in here. Some beds to break down for some items, but I want to save the durability on my old uh, on my old wrench because I'd like to just start scrapping the stuff uh, down for for the car. To really scrap some of this clothing down. Not the you know, puffer jacket and the not the old puffer jacket though. Don't need to have a leather duster. Those are good for selling. Um, search more lockers. Scrap that. Scrap these. If anything, just good resources for making bandages. Our football helmet. Just scrap it down. Carper box. Salvera seed. That's good for start making a farm. Break through this real quick. And I think that's about it for the old bunker, unless I'm missing... Yeah, I'm missing a couple lockers in here. Alright, those up. And, okay, yeah, that looks like everything, so... I'm gonna go put some more uh, loot away, and I'm going to... And catch up with you guys once I start scrapping down some cars. And yeah, we're coming up on our first car here. But while I'm scrapping some of this stuff down... We've got a nice claw hammer. I wanted to give a little bit of, you know... I guess you could say lore on myself, uh, you know, outside of YouTube, uh, the game I've really been enjoying playing right now is, uh, Tom Clancy's, uh, Ghost Recon Wildlands, that's like, one of those I've decided to go back into it, I think within the past week or two, and it's a, it's really fun, you know, I, I enjoy having, if you never played the game, uh, you have a, you basically have a squad of uh, soldiers, uh, like AI if you're playing solo, or you can have up to three friends, and you're basically working to take down a cartel. And it's a, I really like it, and it, it's one of those, uh, it's got a bunch of real-life guns, uh, you know, and they're, some of the names have been changed for, for legal purposes, but, and one thing about me is that, it, let me take care of old Penny here. There you go. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, I personally love guns in, in real life. One of those, uh, they fascinate me, and and uh, I may or may not have a few uh, guns uh, personally. It's like, I will disclose more if you guys are curious about them, but... It's one of those I've uh, been interested in guns for years. It's like, really, it's like, uh, I have to say, I'd say it came from my years of uh, Call of Duty when I used to play Call of Duty Alive. I was evacuated by zombies, and, and this is partially why I love Seven Days to Die so much. It's like, 
got a decent selection of like, guns and yeah, it's like uh, but it's like a love learning about the uh, what makes them tick, and it's one of those uh, they're just so fascinating to me and and I just love them and if you make it this far as the video and tell me what games you like to play uh, you know whether it be this game Seven Days to Die you know, this version of it or the PC version or if you like the old uh, you know other games like I would love to hear about what you like uh, because uh, this channel's going to remain a Seven Days to uh, channel uh, but it's like, I do love hearing about what other people like to play. A nice car battery. But yeah, it's just one of those, like, you know, a couple games I like to play, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna keep wrenching the cars until I get a, uh, an engine, and I will let you know once I've gotten that. And once you know it, the car I just uh, broke down to the bare level here, right after I cut off, gave me a nice engine, so we're looking at a pretty nice uh, mini bike. That's really and good to see. Uh, where's the old poppin' pills? I think it's right over here. Here, before we go and assemble that and take it for its uh, an inauguration of uh, riding, I want to uh, Make sure I grab the old chemistry bench before I forget. Yep, here's old pop and pills. And... Make sure I don't actually break it down with my pickaxe uh, all the way. Okay, that should be a... Alright. There we go, we got a workbench. I'll meet you back at the house and... And start assembling the mini bike. And I'm over here at the uh, wealthy house on the side of town, about to break in here real quick because I don't have any duct tape. But thankfully, I did get the chemistry bench, and I know you can make a uh, glue and a campfire, but I need some murky water to make some duct tape. Let's see here. Grab that up. Blah. Well, might as well just hit up uh, old Ned Charlie over here, see what you got, buddy. 44 magnum frames, shotgun shells, and 15... Uh, sub 6 twos. Don't know why that escaped me. And a flashlight, that's a nice little find. I think I can slap that on my old... Uh, let's see... I put that on the old hunting rifle. Go to symbol. Yes, we can. Very nice. Just gonna run back over to, to the house, get to, get this uh, glue and duct tape on the craft, and and I will catch up with you guys once I have finally assembled the mini bike. And I've finally got my. I have mini bike C assembled. Those are my parts that were crafted were you know, around 290, so just below green quality, but got basically all the mandatory parts assembled, so let's start putting this together. I'm so excited to finally have a uh, mini bike going. And battery, handlebars, wheels. There you go. And it is a level 345 mini bike. Really nice, and we got the storage. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is, well, put fuel in it first. There we go. Gonna drive over to the gas station real quick and pick up some of the old oil barrels, because uh, gonna need some fuel, or only at 28%. I'm pretty sure I got the the old uh, gas can schematic last episode, so should be looking fine. Anything? 168. There you go. Pick 
go with you. Oh, what the hell? Just flex right through here. Um, gas band, I had a gas barrel that I left in here before. Chop you up, nothing. Yeah, just continue hitting Maybach tires because I do want to improve those. Man, really no luck uh, with those. Pick you up for the gasoline, what you got? Even more. Very nice, very nice. These gas barrels are worth uh, 600 gas apiece. And should be all except this one. Here we are. Get you. What do we get? 257. I'll combine those later. Combine them with the wheels later to but, uh, make some gas cans out of this. And start fueling. Ninety-one percent. We're looking good. So we're gonna make a run over to Trader Bob's real quick, and and I'll meet you there in just a second. I'm gonna do a sell-off, and we have a ride of Trader Bob's. So I've been what I was saying the good to see you, Bob. Uh, what I was saying earlier is, uh, you know, an earlier episode is we're selling. You see how I've been sell five paper? You want to level them up and get your bartering up? Do this. Just start pressing. That gets you more XP. So just do it like this. It is a bit more taxing on the old finger, but... It, especially if you're doing like a, kind of like a big old stack of leather. But there we go. We're up to level 3 in bartering. You can see at the top of the iron boots the, the price is starting to go down. And let's see, do I have any other kind of sellable stuff I can get rid of? Yeah, we'll just sell this off. Selling items singly like this will greatly increase your, in your you know, levels and I'm just gonna sell out the shotgun parts and handgun parts just so I can make some extra moolah and there we go. We're up to bar level 6 now. I'm not gonna sell those off even though they sell pretty good. Oh, I should have sold, and sold the rounds, but oh well, no big deal. There we go. And take a look at what he's got. This is the old, uh, you know, before, like, they got rid of Secret Stash and everything. Yeah, yeah. Ice Fire Axe. Good stuff. And tasting and brewing. Two of them. He has some decent stuff in here. Oh, I really sold him. What does tasting and brewing give? I can't remember. Gives a couple science points, so he restocks on day, day 13. I'm just gonna grab the old, uh, so is buying stuff. So yeah, just get tasting and brewing here. Safe <laughs> travels. Gonna knock beer. I've heard that it's uh, good for uh, selling once you start uh, crafting the old stuff. Couple challenges. That's the second one I've gotten. Silence of the Lambs, I think that's a screamer challenge. These award you skill points. Don't feed the bears. Kill some bears. And I did forget to check the secret stash. Your money is welcome here. The shotgun schematic. Not really interested in that. Not too much at first, but get the levels up over time. Uh, anything, but. I'd take the thing knife book if I had the uh, money for it, or the iron boot schematic. Sorry, I didn't have what you needed. But other than that, that's uh, really not too much. I think I forgot to search uh, some of the buildings in here. Get out the hunting rifle because it's got the flashlight on. Oh, I'd usually see this thing with a put around there. I'm trying to see what workbench I just got. 
because I do hear a couple zombies outside. And nothing really much. Come on, open up. Yeah, not much in there. Uh, I think I searched all this in the when I was here the first time. Oh, he's in, he doesn't got any of the workbenches. I I think that's a later addition for the alphas. Uh, yeah, search is safe. Scavenging level up. Getting pots of coal, lead. Filing cabinets might have some schematics. While well, I'm thinking about great tasting brewing. There we go. Don't have, he doesn't have any hops seed, unfortunately, but no big deal. But since Gazabi wanted to say hello. Oh, hi Marla. Run past you real quick. And you wonder why I'm letting the zombie in the trader, and it's because I want Bob's uh, flag. And if you know what I'm about to do, then I'm good on you, but you don't know, there's the, um, the get thing. You can get items from the traders with this handy little glitch. Uh, come here, old Marla. There we go. There we go. And got it. Got the White River uh, flag. That's really cool. Yeah. Basically, how you do that little glitch if you if you're not informed is you kill you bring a zombie into the trigger compound and or you can do it with bedrock if you really felt like it because that's invulnerable too. Kill a zombie and with your weapon and then. Take like a spike club and or a hunting knife in that case, and you and quickly hit the zombie before they like this. I did not even know that. You... Wow! I you could even seal the grass off the trader. Well, there <laughs> there's some don't see every day. <laughs> so if I really felt like it, I could. Decorate my place with grass. So I was just gonna gather some resources before nighttime, and and I am home safe just after nighttime. Got the workbench and chemistry station up, and I'd say that was a successful day. <laughs> and a uh, good place to end the episode here. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and maybe check out another video or you know, one of the playlists I have up uh, on the end. And see you next time.